This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 3rd of February. James Spann here. Very active weather coming up in the days ahead. we got two major wet weather systems on the way. But today things are dry but cold and mostly cloudy. We'll look out the window with our SkyCam network. This is the view coming from Jasper. And they've actually got a little bit of blue sky there. A few peaks of sun. Up in the Tennessee Valley, that's our sky cam at Decatur, and overcast there. And it's cold. They're only in the 30s up there. And down south, overcast conditions on the Alabama Gulf Coast. And that's the visible satellite view is your typical bizarre clearing after the passage of a storm system in the cold season. You go down to places like Auburn, Opelika, Alexander City, Dadeville, Lafayette, bright and sunny. Got a few thin spots up in northwest Alabama around Jasper and Fayette, but mostly cloudy across the state this afternoon. And there's the deal. Wave number one is exiting the northeast United States. That put down the rain here last night. Big snows uh, over parts of uh, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York City getting hammered by that thing uh, earlier today. But that's winding down. Storm number two, the next one, digging down into the southwest United States. That's going to bring rain in here, maybe some thunder tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. And yes, it's colder today. You know, yesterday, uh, many spots were well up in the 60s. Well, today, only in the upper 30s at mid-afternoon in the Tennessee Valley, places like Coleman and Huntsville. Down this way, low to mid 40s, Tuscaloosa 46, Birmingham 43. Nobody reaching 50 unless you're down in uh, that little sunny area where Alexander City's got 53. And around the nation, it's a zonal flow, so the really cold air stays north of us. <coughs> but it's cold enough today. We'll see these occasional colder shots. And if you're looking for warmth, how about central and south Florida? See a lot of 80s in Tampa and Daytona in Miami and Fort Myers. All right, this new storm, winter storm warnings up. Much of Oklahoma, Kansas, northern Missouri, over into Illinois and Indiana. <coughs> Put down a big snow up through that, that zone. And, of course, down here in the warm sector, we're concerned about strong storms. The good news, uh, there is no formal risk of severe weather tomorrow or tomorrow night. In fact, on this latest outlook, the guys at SPC have even taken out that 5% chance here, and they've shifted back that to the, that back to the west over uh, Mississippi and Louisiana. So odds are we will not deal with severe weather tomorrow night, which is good. Here's the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Monday evening of next week a lot. Rain amounts of two inches or more. And, of course, we got two major systems, this one uh, tomorrow and tomorrow night, another one over the upcoming weekend. And for the snow fans, not that we have a lot around here after last week, uh, this is where you'll see uh, accumulating snow valid from midday tomorrow until midday Wednesday. This is the chance of greater than one inch. That pretty much uh, states it easily, and this is the NAM snow accumulation graphic and you can see the accumulating snow from the plains of Colorado to near uh, Boston and the coast of Maine and there could be some pretty good snows in there those uh, darker shades of purple that represents over six inches and with these multiple snow systems up there they're going to be buried because they were buried uh, earlier today with this lead system let's look at modeling this is the GFS the global forecast system valid at noon tomorrow this is at 500 millibars you can see that uh, negative tilt trough to the west, and if we were in March or April, you might be worried about severe weather. Let's take a look at the surface chart. This is midday tomorrow. Uh, showers could break out in the morning, but the better chance will come later in the day. Uh, at midday, the better rain should be over Arkansas, Louisiana, and parts of Mississippi. This is tomorrow night at midnight. A surface low is near Chattanooga, Tennessee, with a band of thunderstorms passing through Alabama. Should be a good soaking. The question is, will there be severe weather? Well, here's your limiting factor. This is the surface-based CAPE, Convective Available Potential Energy, and there's basically no CAPE. Uh, this is tomorrow evening at 9 o'clock local time, and you really need that surface-based instability for the storms to be rooted down in the uh, boundary layer. Uh, so that obviously suggests we will not have any severe weather. Other parameters look pretty impressive. This is the shear, the bulk shear between the surface and 925 millibars, about 30 knots. Actually, a little zone of 40 knots up in northeast Alabama. That would certainly suggest the chance of sustained updrafts. And uh, the winds are pretty high. This is the low-level jet, about 5,000 feet off the ground, with the pressures 850 millibars. And this is suggesting some 60-knot winds up over the Tennessee Valley. So it's your classic cold season system. Very good dynamics. Very marginal thermodynamics. So could there be a strong storm? Yes. Severe weather? Probably not. Much like the deal last night. But a good soaking. Rain amounts of... Uh, at least one inch likely. 
This is Wednesday. The rain is gone. Looks like the rain should end really early Wednesday morning during the pre-dawn hours. And uh, Wednesday will probably be a day kind of like today. Uh, I don't think we get out of the 40s. Lingering clouds, again, just like what we have today. This is Thursday. Thursday morning will be pretty cold, which should be in the mid to upper 20s to start the day. Uh, temperatures, again, not getting out of the 40s. The air coming over the snowpack north of the state. Uh, the GFS suggesting a high of 47. You might see a little filtered sunshine, but probably not much. We got this disturbed southwest flow aloft, so any sun on Thursday should be limited. This is Friday, and uh, some light rain could break out during the day in an overrunning pattern. But the rain would not be heavy or widespread, nor will it rain all day, just a chance of showers. This is suggesting not much at all. Uh, the high Friday, middle 50s. And this is Saturday as we start the weekend. Here comes our next storm coming out of the Rockies. Again, this is a good dynamic system. Uh, down below that Saturday looks like a day where it's kind of wet. Uh, in fact, maybe a warm front trying to push in from the south. I don't think it makes it through here. Saturday will be a day with occasional showers. The high will be in the 50s. This is Sunday morning at 6 a.m. The GFS depicts a very broad surface low right on top of us. So we never get in the warm sector. So this will just be a big soaking rain with no chance of any severe weather. And we notice the thickness values plunge back off to the west. And this is Sunday evening at 6 o'clock. And by golly, if this is right, Sunday could be a pretty raw day. Uh, temperatures falling in the 30s, a very strong north wind, lingering clouds, and a chance of snow flurries. Uh, that will be uh, the setup. And again, uh, you know, when we say snow flurries, traditionally on the backside of a departing storm, you don't have any problems. Uh, traditionally, anything goes. We all know that, but uh, we're not too concerned about any issues with the snow flurries in the backside of this thing. This is the snow depth coming off the uh, GFS valid Monday morning at uh, 6 o'clock local time. And uh, that very light gray you see there over North Alabama, that's basically uh, a trace and again, we'll get close to the weekend. We can take a closer look at that. And I will tell you that the uh, European is faster. Uh, this is the snow depth valid at midday Sunday, and it's suggesting a, a little bit around here uh, on the uh, on the back side of this. That the, the European suggesting the big rain will come Saturday and Saturday night. Sunday would be much colder with a chance of snow flurries. Uh, but again, we just we, we need to get the system out of here tomorrow night before we can focus on this. But clearly, it's going to be a big wet down this weekend, a chance of snow flurries on the departing back edge of this thing. This is Monday, cold and dry. Uh, the 540 line down below Birmingham might have a hard time getting out of the 30s, if this is right. And boy, look at the system up in the northeast, if by chance this is right. That thing's got a 981 millibar low uh, just off the uh, coast at Cape Cod. And that would be a raging nor'easter for Boston. Huge snowstorm. So, again, our friends are just going to be buried in snow up there if, uh, with these multiple systems coming through. All right, let's go deeper in the month. This is the uh, 13th. That's suggesting rain here. This is a rain event. And the end of the forecast on the 19th, this is kind of a wavy zonal flow. Uh, not the big high amplitude thing we saw last month, so any cold shots would not last long. And if by chance this is right, that period would be mild and uh, dry. And again, that, of course, is a big if. We're just looking for trends, and the trend is that the weather should be changeable and active for the next couple of weeks. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can catch us on the news this evening, ABC 3340, on either the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. And Weather Brains tonight at 830 Central. We'll talk about that snow forecast last week. Have a great evening. Thanks for watching, and God bless.